everyone. So right behind me, I have a pile of wigs off Wish once again. I already did two of these videos and literally had so much fun filming them and trying on all the different colors and different styles and everything. These are very cheap wigs. I wish I could go splurge on a very expensive wig because I honestly love wearing them, but I'm honestly way too indecisive. Like I feel like I wouldn't be able to pick just one. So I kind of just bought a bunch of cheap ones off Wish and we're going to see if they're any good or if they're complete trash because some of them are always trash. I will link below my previous two down below. So I'm going to pop my hair up in a wig cap. I'll be right back. Okay, here goes. So I've got my wig, my wig cap on and I've got six different wigs. We've got some colorful ones and some brown ones. So I'm going to start with the brown. I have to try and match these up to the pictures on Wish. So, yeah. Okay, so this first one looks like a little short one. They always steal pictures off um, that Freedom Couture wig page, which is the ones I want to buy, but I haven't. Okay, store. Butterfly Fashion. That is the store I bought this off, guys. $27. 130% lace front hair. Bob wigs, Brazilian wigs. Women short hair wig. Um, and I paid $16 shipping. So these are like splurges on Wish. Last time I bought like uber cheap ones. So I bought like a few more expensive ones in this video as well. Like expensive, like actually not expensive at all for a wig. But at the same time, if it's trash, then yes, you know. So anyways, yeah, it says $30, $16 shipping and it's rated three and a half stars. Let's have a look. I really want to do one of those videos where I try to like make these cheap wigs look better. You know how like people like pluck them and tweeze them. That's the same thing but you know what I mean. It looks like this. It looks kind of huge and it smells real strong. The actual hair looks pretty good like it actually looks kind of legit guys like you know. And it feels like synthetic hair. It doesn't feel like real hair. It doesn't say it's real hair so it's probably like obviously synthetic but like it's still soft. It just has that kind of plasticky-ish feeling to it. It looks very similar like on the picture to in real life off you know first glimpse. But let's try putting it on. It does have some little clips at the back. Looks like it's like a half lace front. Like it's got like the lace front and then the back's just got a lining in it. It's got little combs and stuff. I've just like clipped it in a little bit smaller because like straight off the back I can tell it's quite a large size. Okay let's put this baby on. Hey ladies. <laughs> so obviously you want to like trim the lace. It feels real awkward. It's got that classic like Super flat front. I'm not sure how we can fix that. I need to like look up some YouTube videos. I'm just gonna take it off. I'm going to trim the lace and let's put it on again and see if we can make this baby work. Cause it's kind of cute, like straight off the bat, like I'm feeling it. <laughs> so I've trimmed off the lace. It doesn't have baby hairs or anything. So like I'd have to like pluck them out and do all that stuff, which I've never done before, but I really want to like try it. Just brushing it. And obviously, oh, it's quite good because I've got like natural dark roots at the moment. Well, not natural, like dyed dark roots at the moment on my natural hair. You could really glue this down and make it look kind of accurate. It's just this like flat root that bothers me. So does it look like the picture? I guess it does. The hair definitely just like kind of sits odd. Just look like at the back. I don't know. It's kind of like <laughs> cut terribly. It's like a little shorter. I mean, you could still get away with it. Like, I feel like you could definitely make this work. If I can somehow give it, like, this little bit right there some volume. I'm just going to grab some dry shampoo and see what happens if we, like, chuck some dry shampoo in there. It's just... It's like, you need to give the hair a little bit more, like, grip almost because it's very silky and, like, plasticky. Yeah, it's just, like, the very obvious hairline that's, like, the worst part. I'm just going to take some tart shape tape and just, like, draw on the hairline a little. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I watch a lot of random wig videos on YouTube in my spare time. They're, like, my favorite videos to watch. But I am not a professional and I'm probably doing this wrong. I mean, at least it looks a little bit more like a real hairline now. I feel like I need to like face tune my eyebrows darker too. But I like the style. I wish when I had my hair this length it actually like sat out like this. That my hair just looked like a drowned rat when I had it short like this. It did not look good. So no comments saying chop your hair off, Shannon, because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and I get comments like that all the time, but honestly, I like... I don't know. I love long hair. So that's that. The more I look at the haircut, like it's definitely quite rough. Um, it's very blunt. Like I guess it's kind of cute. I don't know. How do I fix like this weird flat situation? I'd probably rate it around what other people have rated it. Like just under 
four or so stars out of five like i mean if i was rating it out of ten i'd give it like a six or something i feel like it just looks really unnatural but it's fun i feel like i should do a makeup tutorial for dark hair even though that's not even a thing but like i just want to wear this in a makeup tutorial and like do my makeup to match all right next up this one with 37 dollars the shipping was 18 dollars this one says it's 360 grams 24 inch woman glueless light front lace front full wig body wave um so this one should theoretically be a bit thicker than the previous one so same to make hello i didn't really purchase any blonde ones this time so i just already have blonde hair i just wanted to try some different stuff the rest are colorful which i'm honestly the most excited for so oh it looks pretty it feels real soft like a little bit knotty it feels a little bit like real hair compared to the last one like it's a little bit i don't know like grittier like natural hair is it's less plastic feeling but you can still Hell, it's not real hair. Um, this wig I purchased. I finally figured out how to purchase. How to? I finally figured out how to find out. Figured out how to find out. Oh my god, what the heck? Figured out how to find out which store I purchased them from. So this one is from the store Lee Hang, which is L E H A N G. 8899. I have no idea how you find the store on Wish. Maybe you can type it. I don't know how it works, honestly. It's not as simple as I'd like. So this is like the same kind of like lace front. It's got like a lining with like clips and stuff. This one doesn't look as huge as the previous one, so I probably won't have to really clip it up much. Um, and it's got a lace front here, which I need to trim. I'll trim it off before I try it on. The hairline looks quite nice. Um, it doesn't have baby hairs once again, but this hairline's not as blunt. Like it's a little bit more like irregular like a real hairline is, like not as perfect. So I'll just trim this and we'll pop it on. All right, so we're trimmed. I'm just gonna pop this baby on. Hey girl. Oh yeah, it's knotty. It's long, wow. So this needs to be sorted out. I'm just gonna slide back my wig, wig cap underneath. I don't know where this is supposed to go. I feel like as soon as I put it on, it's just gotten full of knots. Am I Carly Bible yet? <laughs> so it says it's glueless, but I feel like to make this really fit properly, I would need to like glue it down at the sides Um, because it doesn't really sit there properly naturally I feel like I need to just make this quite bright so you can kind of see it better Like the texture and everything. I wish my hair was this thick naturally like this is gold So I'm just gonna like pull out a couple of bits of my actual hair that one's blonde, so that's not ideal I'm just gonna do the concealer thing again. I feel like this is real itchy. Okay, so what do I think? I feel like if I plucked this one a little bit as well, it would be quite cute. Like it just needs some little like baby hairs or like shorter bits around the face because it's like very obvious like the way it just kind of like flops. I don't know. Like it just needs to be shaped a little bit better. Even just doing that makes it look a little bit better actually. Like just messing with it. It's kind of cute. Doesn't look like the picture. Obviously that girl, I'm pretty sure like has actually got hair like this in the picture I'll put the picture up again it does look like the wig they're advertising the parts very different I feel like the part picture they used is like literally someone's actual head I don't think that this is this part but like the picture of the wig looks very similar um it's just it's just a bit wiggy I feel like it's not terrible like I could fix this situation I don't know I feel like it's actually like quite pretty I don't mind it like it kind of looks convincing especially if I did darker eyebrows like kind of cute have a look from behind very long it's kind of awkward to show you it doesn't look too shiny either like some synthetic wigs look so shiny like I actually think I quite like it I just need to like I don't know figure out what to do with the hairline like even though it's better than the previous one it's still not like ideal like, it's still a bit too thick it's like no one has a hairline this friggin thick so I feel like it just needs to like yeah be plucked out a little bit or trimmed or something I don't know what do you guys think out of 10 I would rate this one either another six or maybe even a seven like I think I like it a little bit more than the previous one just because it sits a little bit nicer it's still not sitting perfect but it does sit um less like flat and odd like it's kind of convincing I feel like these wigs just need like the part to go back further too like my natural part of my hair like it goes like back to here like it doesn't just stop like a couple of inches or an inch in like that's the biggest like telltale sign I reckon but I feel like for photos and stuff like this looks uber realistic for photos and things like especially if you wear like a little cap or something it's real thick um it just gets knotty but on to the next one okay what do we have next I'm gonna save my favorite one for last well I don't know if it is my favorite but like the one I think is gonna be my favorite it literally looked like a small dog was lying on the ground just then just a wig so this is from the store sapphire wig this one cost me forty dollars big spender with 18 dollars shifting shifting <laughs> this one is a 
Beauty a Christmas gift present. I love how they just shove as many keywords into the title as they possibly can. Um, Two-tone color, brown ombre light blue synthetic lace front wig, glueless, heat resistant, straight hand tight lace front. So, the package is pretty good. Once again, lace front, ooh, this one's hairline looks kind of legit. I feel like you still need to pluck it and like trim it and stuff, cause like, the baby hairs at the front is just so long. Like, if you look at my baby hairs, like, you get these stragglers, you get these little like, don't even know, like just broken hairs or like I got all these little baby hairs along here. You know what I mean? Like I just need to try and film a video. Let me know if you'd be interested if you want to see me attempt to fix a wig. Like is that something you want to watch? Because it would just be a whole like clusterfuck of like confusion. But like if you want to see it, I could film it. Because I want to try and actually, you know, customize one of these wigs and see if I can make it look legit. Like something I would wear out of the house and not just in a wish wig try on video haul thing. I love the color of this so much. Like, honestly, it is goals. I wish I had the guts to just dye my hair crazy colors. Like I've got blonde hair, I could do it, but I'm just terrified. And I always get scared that I'll damage my hair or like stain it or something. So I just never do it. And that's why I was just so excited to try these wigs. I would love to find like a really amazing, legit, expensive, perfectly made wig that is like similar to my hair so that I could just like wear a wig when I couldn't be bothered like doing my own hair like goals I just dropped scissors let's give it a go it's got the same stuff as the others clips and all sorts of shit in there so blue oh my god I love this so much I haven't even looked at it properly yet but it's so cool this one it feels like the first one like obvious synthetic hair like so plasticky and too smooth to be real hair at all it's so cool <laughs> i would love to wear something like this to like a festival except knowing me i'd get too drunk and it would like fall off and it'd just be a disaster okay so we're just gonna conceal the root again like the little hairline thing <laughs> i did that so terrible this color is literally amazing like i'm obsessed with the shade does it look like the picture? It does look like the picture. It even looks like, you know, the girl in the picture looks like she's wearing a wig like this. Like, sorry if that's her real hair. I'd, I'd feel real bad if that was her real hair. And I was like, it looks like a wig. But like, it looks like a good wig, you know? Like, it looks legit. I feel like this would look so cool if I could just like trim some of these side bits. Like if I take my scissors and just absolutely go ruthless in here and just, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's hope I don't ruin it. Just like doing a little trimmy trim trim i don't know what i'm doing it worked kind of like i feel like i just need to do that over and over and over again until i get like the kind of like flyaways that a natural hairstyle would always have like tell me someone that doesn't have friggin flyaways please that's like what makes the hair look real i'm digging this like i oops i really like it oh my gosh it's cute it just knots up a bit like it's very synthetic but I think this is pretty much worth the price, especially if I can sit here and like pluck the hairline a little bit and just make it um, a little bit sheer and less full in the front so that, you know, it doesn't look so wiggy. Next up, we have another short wig and this one's supposed to be like platinum blonde, but it's more like white. So I said I didn't get any blonde ones. This one technically is, but also I don't reckon it is kind of at the same time. This one cost me $20.70, cost $13 shipping. So this one's like super cheap and it's from the shop Plusie. So P-L-U-S-E-E. -E. This one doesn't have a lace front that I need to trim myself. It's adjustable once again and it just literally has like a normal front. So yeah, it's not lace front or anything like that. Let's see how it looks. Didn't like tighten this one. I definitely need to tighten it a little bit because it's like moving around a little, but I don't know. I think this is like kind of cute for like fancy dress, like a dress up party or whatever. It sits a lot better than some of the other wigs actually, even though it's like not lace front or anything. Like just the way that it kind of like frames my face is quite nice. I love the color. I love how it's like super white. I feel like this could be so cool to wear for like Halloween. A lot of volume, which I really like. Like it feels actually really good. The hair is kind of like that second wig where it's like obviously synthetic, but also it has a little bit of a grip to it. So it's not like just plasticky at the same time. It's very shiny. I don't know how you would get on trying to like fix this hairline. The girl in the picture is definitely not wearing this exact wig. Like she has more baby hairs in her wig. Did I just get 
concealer in there. I don't know. I feel like this is probably better to do when you're not actually wearing it. I don't mind this one at all. I think it's kind of cute. It definitely looks like a wig, but it's like a cute wig. It doesn't look bad whatsoever. I don't know. And it's actually quite comfy. Like I feel like it's way comfier than any of the others. So I would say this one's also worth it. I'd rate this like a 7 out of 10. Once again, I wish my hair actually like sat like this, like when I had it short, but no, my hair just looked terrible. Why do wigs always sit better when they're a short wig? Like I feel like short wigs, I guess because I've got like more hair and stuff and like it's already like styled. I don't know. Next up, this is from Life Key. I don't know how to pronounce it. Life QI. That's the store. This one was $32.40 and it was $18 shipping. So this is a red wig. Female elegant wine red wavy curly lace front high temperature wig. So let's have a look. This like reminds me of the brown one I tried on just in red. It's so long. It's got like baby hairs too. Look at that. Let's have a look. I'll just trim off the lace front. This one once again is way too big but it does have like clips in the back. Okay. I feel like it was going well with the hairline but then there's no part. It's like <laughs> kind of awkward. The lace is also black. So I'm just going to go over it with some concealer. I don't even know what's going to happen right now but... We're doing it. I feel like I literally need to paint the inside of the wig cap with concealer and then lay it down. Does it look like the picture? Kind of does. Oh my god, I totally thought the girl on the left was like a um, person, like a human, but it's a dummy. Looks like a creepily real dummy. Anyway, this one's hairline, like I like how there's baby hairs and stuff, but like there's no other part. So I just don't really know how you would go about like styling this one. You can kind of just part it. You just need to like steam it down or something so that it sits more flat. Do you reckon you could make this work? I feel like you could. You just need some like styling gel and stuff to like stick it in the right direction because it's a little bit like all over the friggin show right now. This is like a more accurate representation of the color. I actually love the color. It's so cool. I don't think I'd ever dye my hair this color but the actual wig itself it feels like real hair like almost. It's a little bit more plasticky but it's got that kind of real hair like grip and I feel like it's not too shiny where it looks like super fake. It's very voluminous. The curls are like full on. It's kind of frizzy. Like it does look like real hair but I feel like you could kind of get away with this one. Like it doesn't look soup like other than the color. But I mean we all know that this isn't my real hair color. I don't know if you glued this down like it almost does look like real hair kind of. It just needs like a real good style and some like gel and stuff. I would rate this a 7 or an 8. I just feel like I wish there was like a proper parting but you could definitely like mess around with it a little bit and try to like create one almost. Just because like I don't know it's just like it feels good. I feel like it's a little bit too unruly at this point but I think it's because I keep messing with it. It's like knotting up a little bit. Uh, yeah it's kind of hard to brush. God. Let's do the next one, which is the final one, which is the one I am like so excited for. I hope it's good. I am so freaking ready. So this is from Ching Chon S G C H E N G C H O N S G. This is the 26 inch fashion mint green ombre wig. You can tell this is a fashion couture picture because it literally has her business card on here. So they've ripped off the picture, but let's see what it looks like. I'm obsessed with this color and I really hope it looks good. It doesn't have a lace front. It's kind of like the previous one where it's just like straight in there. Let's go ahead and pop this baby on. Oh, this one has a tag on it. <laughs> so definitely different to the picture because the one the picture has baby hairs. It's got a, um, you know, me blah, 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 what is it called? Lace front. But the color is pretty good for like a dupe, you know, because those fashion couture wigs are like two grand plus some of them. I really want one, but I'm terrified once again of like spending that much money and never wearing it or something. So yeah, this one, it feels real good. Like the quality of the hairs. I'm just trying to like get this out, please. We're ignoring or like the actual like top because it blatantly looks like a wig but it's actually a really nice texture it's not once again too um like plasticky feeling like it kind of feels like hair it's definitely quite shiny i love the wave i love the length i love everything about it except for the hairline like this part here you know it doesn't look real whatsoever i don't even think you could pluck this one because you know it just goes straight into like a cap underneath here so this is the kind of one i'd probably have to wear like a cap with let me go grab one this is literally hamish's hat that he does like the gardening with i dig it i think that's so cool i love it i would wear this like 
I think that's so cool. I love the color so much. Did I say how much it was? $18 with $12 shipping. So pretty affordable. And I just think it looks dope. Like it's so cute. This and the blue one are probably like my favorite ones. Like just love it. So there you go. Which ones were your favorite? Which ones were your least favorite? I would love to hear. Let me know which ones you think I should keep and like try to style and try to make better and everything. It's a pity that this one's hairline's terrible. Cause like I would genuinely wear this like outside <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching let me know what wish videos you want to see next and i can definitely do some more because you guys know i love doing these videos on my channel or if you want to see a different website just let me know which one and yeah don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>